Welcome back to Inform Overload. I'm your host, Johnny Rogers, and if you happen to be new here, we find the most exciting news stories on the internet and then make them more entertaining. What could be better than that? So don't forget to tap that subscribe button, that way you never miss another story. Plus, leave us a comment down below with what it would take for you to take a trip to the Chernobyl site. After the destruction of the Chernobyl site 33 years ago, you can imagine that a ton of machinery was required to sort through the mess, some of which still remains right where it was left after the cleanup. There's even fields filled with with abandoned machinery and equipment that had to be abandoned after becoming so radioactive. One of which is famously referred to as the Claw of Chernobyl. This claw in particular was used to sort through the extremely radioactive graphite left behind from the power station's dismantled core. Following the cleanup mission, the claw was actually deemed too dangerous to even be disposed of, so instead they just left it in an abandoned forest on the outskirts of Pripyat. Which I get it, but that's crazy irresponsible. What if an Instagram influencer just like found their way into all that free real estate and then touched it? What would the world be without them guys? I don't want to see that world. Radiation expert Rob Maxwell was one of the few people who have actually stumbled upon this forgotten machinery while on a tour of the area. Thankfully, he was a radiation expert that found it and not just a regular person. In an interview with Mr. Maxwell, he said that there was a large car and an aircraft graveyard full of vehicles used in the immediate aftermath of the disaster, which are now so radioactive that they can't even be touched. Adding, there are many things in the zone today for which contact for any prolonged period will definitely kill you. And the claw is definitely the most dangerous of all because it's not roped off or inaccessible like other hazards. It's essentially just sitting in a forest clearing for the rest of time. It's severely potentially lethal. Severely potentially lethal, guys. That's one way to say it. It's not just touching the claw that will kill you either. It really becomes detrimental if you spend any length of time even in the vicinity of it. Rob also said that he put his hand inside of it because he wanted to get a reading with the Geiger counter. Apparently, the private guy that he had hired kept telling him, Do not touch it. Do not touch it. So instead, he just put his hand in to get the reading and then took it out quickly. According to the radiation levels that he took, the claw showed 39.8 microsieverts per hour. To give you some context, the average background radiation in Sydney is usually something in the region of 0.17. So Mr. Maxwell says that that claw is magnitudes higher and releases a ton of radiation every day. When that fateful day happened, at least 31 people were killed by the disaster with thousands or even more having died from radiation exposure and cancer. So Rob recommends that no one seeks this claw out if visiting the area. It's positioned well outside of the official exclusion zone tour, which is why Maxwell had to find a private guide who was willing to risk both of their lives to go and find it. Let's just hope that everyone who decides to visit the area to pay respects follows the warnings of Mr. Maxwell and strays far away from that claw. With that, let's check out some of your comments from the video titled, Stop What You're Doing and Pour Out Your Bottled Water. I Absolute says, we can't drink our water, what now? We can't breathe now? Probably for the best. If we just don't breathe anymore or move, we should all be fine. Cuteness Queen says, I'm drinking bottled water while watching this. My funeral is this Thursday. If it's not one of the brands we mentioned, then you should be fine. If it was, we send our deepest condolences. Boba T says, this video is paid for by the water filter gang. <laughs> Hey, couldn't turn down that Brita water gang money. It's too good. It's too clear, too good. Vito Theo says, yeah, I think it's about time I stopped drinking water from plastic bottles. It's really for the best. The levels of BPA in plastic water bottles may not be much per bottle, but over years of consumption bit by bit, it really adds up and has actually been shown to negatively affect your health. Some great alternatives are the hydro flask, a glass bottle, really just anything except for plastic. Finley O'Connor says, post serious video, intro, what's up, it's your baking king. <laughs> <laughs> I love this comment. Hey Finley, if you're not in the baking gang, I'm sure you'll do well as a french fry for the potato kingdom. Seems like you break easy. Thank you for watching Inform Overload, and if you enjoyed this video, then why not show us some love by tapping that like and subscribe button. Plus, leave us a comment down below with your thoughts on this story. Also, if you find any news stories that you want us to cover, just send a DM to our Instagram page, at Inform Overload, and if we like it, you may just see your story on our channel. Plus, for more videos like this one, all you gotta do is click that playlist on the side of the screen. From Inform Overload, I'm Johnny Rogers. Until next time, take care.